I'm Deb Shoemaker, an art therapist with Integrated Therapy Associates, and I would like to just talk a little bit about how art therapy can be beneficial for people. First of all, I probably um, don't give a specific directive to start with um, as a, as a um, sort of assessment and evaluation of where they're at. If I know from intake that this person does have depression, um, or they tell me that they have depression, um, I, certain, I would be mindful about the materials that I present so that wouldn't be overwhelming or maybe not so many choices because when someone is um, severely depressed, making small life choices can be overwhelming. So um, in the art process, I wouldn't want to um, create a, an overwhelming situation. So I may limit um, the choices and then um, give a loose directive about something that we could draw an image that tells me something about um, you. Initially, uh, might keep the directives pretty broad or even self-directed, but as we're starting to work um, and through the art therapy sessions, I would, um, I might work on some directives that um, deal with gratitude and maybe ha helping them to see um, maybe the silver lining behind the dark cloud or one small thing that they could be um, appreciative of. Um, but not uh, definitely honoring where they are with their depression. I would never ask them to draw a happy picture or a happy place because that might, that would be, that could be impossible for them at that particular time. So I'm kind of, going slow and uh, um, encouraging and getting, usually the depression has some underlying um, issues and if um, we can build our, the trust and therapeutic alliance um, and then through the artwork, it can help the healing process. And Remember to always consult with a professional art therapist for more information.